day five. I didn't realize yesterday these this wasn't fully connected up. You can see we're now on. That's the main isolator, heat pump, immersion and controls. And as you can see, only the immersion is on. So we should have hot water, which we didn't have yesterday, but still no heating and surge protector. But that's all wired up and working. This is where the main 28 mils are coming in and um, go up through the old boiler cupboard straight up into the cylinder cupboard and those 15 mil pipes that run next to it are for a radiator here in the garage so that's all done and you can see a little bit of block work so we've uh, so the wind's not coming in anymore and brickwork has been completed on the outside as well. So the electrics are completed out here now. You can see the chunking goes up and then goes across down there. Let's see. There you can see. I'll pick that up on the other side and you can just about see the patch of brickwork. Now we're picking up from the other side. You see where they've patched in the brickwork. Oh, it doesn't. Now, not quite finished, bit of, bit of point in there to tidy up, but at least they've roughly filled the hole. We've got the electric conduit and there is some sort of pressure relief or something. Looks temporary anyway, but that's a 15 mil sleeved into a 28. Oh, let me take you down here to the primaries, the feed and return. So I believe this insulation they're using, there's the tape that's sealing it up. But I believe this is Armaflex, 19mm wall. There's the isolation valves. Okay. And you can see here, uh, we are connected in but just not enough to get it going and um, the antifreeze valves are still not with us so hopefully they're going to be here next week I already showed you all of those electrics all completed fingers crossed so here in the bathroom new radiator this was a type 11 and it's 500 mil wide possibly by 500 mil tall or maybe 600 mil tall. This is now 700 mil by 700 wide, and it's now a type 21. So it's I don't know three times the output, maybe more. So fills that space quite nicely. Here's the buffer tank that's yet to go in. Okay. And here's the cylinder cupboard. The cylinder is finally in and it's plumbed in enough that the immersion should be working. And so we've got the light on there, should be hitting the tank up. Doesn't feel warm to the touch, but I'm presuming that that's just the good insulation. Let's see. Oh yeah, the pipe on the top does feel warm. So we should have hot water good. We've got the expansion vessel up there for the hot water and some sort of diverter valve, a one-way valve. That looks like a pressure relief valve. And is this an auto air vent? Something like that. Uh, as you can see, that's the um, diverter valve. That will, at the moment, is just going so this one is coming up from the heat pump and then at the moment this one goes down to the cylinder and this one will then go up and go oh yeah it goes up goes into the buffer tank which is going to go on there and then it will feed off into the uh, central heating so at the moment there's a few capped off pipes and underneath these tools are some of the feed and flow um, 
yeah, feed and return for the central heating as well. So still more work to do on the controls to wire that in, but um, it's getting there. They also completed the radiator circuit under the floors today with just a little bit more soldering so that that is all complete even though you can't see it now. I did. I think I got some pictures so I'll check them in. And finally for today, we are swapping over and uh, switching from a pumped or gravity fed Aqualisa shower over to the high pressure controller. So um, just getting that in, ready to go.